worship. When I was younger, coming through the 60s, and came through that time of brotherhood and love and peace and communal living. And that would be one of our phrases. It's like, work is worship. And so somebody had to go wash the dishes. They went in a good consciousness. They went in a good consciousness. Everything was done in a higher consciousness based in that love and that peace, you see, to create a, a little community and then to live in that community. And as we build a community, the energy goes out. And our spiritual community here is very powerful. It's more powerful than you think. You are more powerful than you think you are, and for one. And then as a group, we are more powerful than we could even imagine. The love that is created when we come together is exponentially squared. And it radiates out into the world. And this is how the world begins to transform. It begins to transform through consciousness. Through consciousness. So as we raise our consciousness, as we become aware of the cosmic universal laws and begin to live in harmony with them, our life begins to change. And as our life begins to change, all of our lives begin to change. That's the power of the group. And it's what thought, idea, consciousness do I want to join my consciousness with? And it's just something for us to think about. Once we begin to uh, under, try to understand and to work in harmony with the universal laws, we will see new ways that we can deal with certain situations in our life. New ways. Instead of reacting from old past patterns and habits and conditioning, if we breathe and open up the windows of our heart, our Father God, our Mother God, the force of God, the wisdom of God can flow through us now. And we will be able to transmute that situation. Because what we're doing, what we're doing now, is we're accessing a higher vibration. We're accessing a higher vibration. That higher vibration is going to go into that situation and begin to transmute it. A low, from a lower into a higher frequency, it's going to change the dark energy into a light energy. And it's just moving into the consciousness of God, the sons and daughters of God. We have been um, conditioned. Uh, we got a big old subconscious that's got a lot of programming and memory in it that tweaks us from time to time. So we have to support our walk. You know, just think, uh, a little child, how a little child has to learn to walk by themselves. And we encourage them to walk by themselves because we don't want them crawling around as they grow up. The world will not handle that, you see. And we don't want to carry them around. Oh, they're about 94 pounds. We're still carrying them around because they haven't learned how to walk. You see? So, chin, and that's just the natural progression and growth on the physical level. But we have to learn how to walk in our new consciousness. So we have to be gentle with ourselves. We have to love ourselves. We have to be gentle with our brothers and sisters. And we have to love them. Because we are all changing. And we're all growing. And that love, love, love is the key that opens the portal to heaven on earth. The teachings of Jesus the Christ are so profound, so simple, we just got to believe them. One of my teachers in the past, he used to say they'd be preaching, and he'd say, give a nice big talk, and he'd say, 
Either you believe Jesus or you don't. And how simple is that? Shift in our consciousness. Raise in our consciousness. That's what Jesus was doing. To be in the world, but not of the world. To be in the world, but not of the world. I make your burdens light. As we put on the, the mantle of the Christ, we're the child of God. Father God, Mother God, Child God. And to begin to walk in that consciousness, in that consciousness. So in our walk, and, and like now, as we seek divine illumination and endeavor to manifest the qualities of God in our world, we begin reflecting God in our world. And we can look back and, and look at um, pictures of Jesus. Don't we see this radiant aura? But, you know, they put it around his head, this big aura of light, but it's, we know it was really around his whole body because he was just manifesting. And, and we can look back and we can look at pictures of Buddha and Krishna. We can look at pictures of saints. And they all have these big auras on. You know, and, it's, and what it is, is knowing who they are. Knowing that they are the child of God. Knowing it. Knowing they're child of God to the point of being that. So that light was so strong. Their temple was so cleansed. It didn't have any shades. It was radiant light. So they were reflecting their light out into the world. Like reflects like. Like reflects like. So we can look at our world. What are we reflecting? If it's not as bright as we like it to be or it's not as comfortable, we can go within, you see. And let's just grow that in our life. Let's just open up the windows of our heart and allow the strength of God to flow through us, the love of God, the wisdom of God, allowing us to manifest and to create heaven on earth. Begin to create heaven in our little sphere of consciousness, in our family, in our little worlds, and then even out to the world, wherever we go, wherever we go. Jesus' simple teaching. Love God with your whole heart, your whole mind, your whole soul, your whole strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. Love. We become what we love. How simple teaching is that? People didn't understand it. Oh, that sounds like a good little directive. But as we begin to put that into practice, we become the love. We become the love. We become the love of God made manifest. Radiating that out to the planet ushering in the age of light, ushering in heaven on earth. So uh, the new heaven could be representative of a, a new way of thinking, a new philosophy of love and life and harmony. And, and new earth could be a new way of behaving and interacting with people we begin to act in enlightened ways. Enlightened ways. Allowing the love of God to flow through us, and as it flows through us to one another, it quickens the love in each of us, and it just goes on and on and out and spreads out and out. As the light gets brighter and brighter and brighter, the vibration gets higher and higher and higher. And we truly know who we are. We truly live who we are. And we truly experience heaven and earth as one. So we give thanks for the simple teachings of Jesus the Christ and, and our angels and guides and our higher self, our divine Christ that I am presence. If we just begin to listen, listen to the words, go down another level and try to understand, ask for understanding, and it'll be revealed. We live in a, a blessed time. 
and uh, to make the most of the opportunity that we have. Let's go with them. <coughs> and I want you to sit in your chair with your feet on the floor and just breathe. Just breathe that gentle breath, breathing with the intention to breathe in God's love and feel God's love. I breathe God's love. God's love is filling me now. I feel it. So just breathe and feel. Feel your energy begin to quicken with that higher love. And as you sit in your chair, become aware of a radiant column of light just showering over you now. So you're sitting in the light. A radiant light, living light, showering over you now. And just breathe it in, feeling it come through your crown chakra, through the top of your head, going through your whole body. Feel this living light just quickening your vibration. And just breathe and feel how good it feels to live in the light. And now I want you to see a beautiful radiant star above your head. And as you see this star, it begins to spin. So just be aware of this spinning star of radiant light. And as this star spins faster and faster, it gets brighter and brighter. You can feel the energy of this star. And this star is representative of your higher self. And as the light grows brighter, it begins to send down rays of light into your body as you sit in your chair. Rays of light, and these rays of light are the wisdom of God. So just breathe in the wisdom of God. Feel it fill in your body. Each cell moving through your sphere of consciousness. Feel the love of God being poured into you. And just feel how loved you are. Feel the strength of God just pouring into you. Feel your ability to walk through this life knowing who you truly are. Feel the joy. Allow that joy to be poured into your body now. Allow that joy to move into each cell of your body. Let that vibration of joy heal your body now. Glad to be alive on this planet, this moment in time. So just breathe and be aware of your energy getting bigger and brighter as you sit in your chair. And just see yourself as a radiant being of light. Now we're just going to join our lights all together. We're going to create a big, radiant sphere of light with the consciousness of God's force and wisdom and love and joy and beauty and peace. So we come together and just feel a part of this radiant light spinning the love of God made manifest. And just feel the energy in this room shifting. And as we join our hearts and our love, it begins to grow and expand. And just feel that expansion of light beyond our room now. It goes up to our property. And just see that radiant light just showering our property. Bringing love and light and life to this property. And it just begins to expand out even farther now. It begins to move out through this whole area. It begins to radiate beyond the state of Georgia. It just radiates out waves and waves and waves of this love and light of God, joy and peace of God, love of God, until it envelops planet Earth. And just see Mother Earth enveloped in this love and light of God. And we send this healing energy to Mother Earth. 
we send this healing light to our brother man. We consciously call forth God's love, surrendering our will to divine will as we call forth the transformation for our planet so that we can truly begin to know heaven on earth. So just breathe and feel the transformation. <coughs> Be still and know, I am with you always. Be still and know. So just breathe and bring your consciousness back into your physical body. Feel your unique vibration. And thank God for the blessings of life and love. Breathe, feel, and when you're ready, just gently open your eyes, and we'll continue. Remember, remember, remember. The key to ascension is remembering. When we remember who we are, that we are the children of God, and begin to act from that consciousness, we help other people remember who they are. And before we know it, heaven on earth. And they all said, Yay, God. <laughs>